share with you some simple Christmas decor DIY projects and all of these are inexpensive and great for beginners. First are these linen stockings. First you're going to cut out the stocking shape. I just used a stocking that I already had and cut around the stocking with about a half an inch extra. Cut four stocking shapes and match two of them together, right sides together, sewing around the entire shape, leaving the top open. Repeat this for the other stocking. and cut out some notches around the curves to make sure that the stocking shape is prominent. Next, turn one of your stockings right side out and you're going to insert this into the other stocking that is wrong side out. Match up the side seams and sew around the edge, leaving one and a half inches open to turn the stocking right side out. Fold your fabric inward to create a clean seam and you can iron this down to make sure that it is really clean and you can hand sew this closed or you can sew around the entire edge of your stocking close to the edge at an eighth of an inch. Using leather and metal alphabet stamps you can you can add a name and personalize the stockings. I added a leather loop at the edge to hang these from our mantle. I love to make beeswax candles and have these year round, but they just seem extra special this time of year. So I'm using beeswax sheets and folding them in half, and that's going to create two separate candles. Then I just measure out the wick. Then I start rolling the beeswax sheet until it is a candle. I'm sure you've seen this project before. It's an ornament with a baby's foot or handprint. And I did this out of polymer clay. You just roll it out into a shape or a circle and imprint your baby's foot or hand into it. It's a little difficult doing with a baby that likes to move, so be patient. But I'm really glad that I did this last year because I can see the growth in my daughter and it's a fun memory to have. I remember growing up personalizing Christmas presents and that was my favorite part of gifting something and it still is. So what I like to do is wrap something in craft paper or in a craft box and just take some puff paint and doodle around on the craft paper and make each present special that I get to give. It's easy to just look up some inspiration of Christmas doodles and kind of mimic them as best as possible. I love to do these simple leaf drawings and then I like to write a little personalized note on the gift.
make sure you put these away where they can dry they make a fun keepsake if you add them into a box instead of just the wrapping paper i've been doing this for years now and it's always so fun to give an extra special gift let's make these leather scandinavian inspired ornaments you'll cut five inch strips of some leather straps. You can find these at your leather store, like Tandy Leather. You wanna punch holes at the ends of these five inch strips. And then take some twine that measures 15 inches and fold it in half and tie a knot towards the top. Then add some tape towards the end to make sure you can thread the twine through the leather easily. And then first you want to thread on all of the strips of leather using one end. Then you're going to re-thread the leather strips onto the twine in the order that you put them on. Once you're finished, you can tie a knot, and I like to add beads to the top of the ornament. For this Sherpa star ornament, I'm going to show you how I made it with a different shape. So what you want to do is cut out your shape on paper and just trace around it, making sure that the shape is about half an inch larger than you want it to end up being for seam allowance. Then you cut around your shape, making sure there's two of the same shape, sew around the shape inserting a strap of leather or you can use string to make sure that is how you can hang it and if there's any curves on the shape you can make notches around it and then turn it right side out finish it off by hand sewing the opening shut and finally is our advent calendar tutorial you can see the full tutorial linked below but this is a simple christmas advent calendar that you can use for years to come If you gained any inspiration from this, tag us on Instagram. You can share this video, like it, and subscribe. I'll see you next week with a new tutorial.